alpha in his guys or not, but this guy is pretty alpha. Look at him. Whoa. He loves the iguana, man. You silly and all. You're not an iguana. Come on, Rambo. Good boy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Good boy. I'm like holding over. Holding under. Oh, Check this hole out right here, dude. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. Joining me today is our friend CJ the Iguana Ninja. Hello, what it is, what it is, young What's going on, CJ? How you doing, my captain? I heard we got a big day today, huh, bud? Oh, yeah, definitely. Tell me a little bit about what's going on, man. Uh, I got a call from a, a client of mine saying she had a problem and she just so happens to live in the golf course that we hunt on. Mmm, one of the individual residents are having individual iguana problems. That's no good. And since we work at that whole entire golf course, guys, it's our job to service the residents over there. Any house calls or any nuisance calls, guys, any kind of wildlife calls that we get in those areas, it is our responsibility to go there and check out what's going on. Not just the sake for the animals or for us, but also for the residents. So we're gonna pop this into the GPS. We're gonna see you guys over there at that job. So this is a tree uh -huh. that they live in and okay. this one right here yes the big one and those plastic things that's from the last plastic wrappers but it's blown off there's a piece hanging there the piece hanging there they wrap these trees mess and i don't know that it's there right this minute but obviously they were there this morning because yeah, I, I see that i've seen some pictures i've seen some pictures so what they like kind of uh messed up your your uh, car Oh yeah. From the tree, they're like, I guess, using the bathroom and it's falling, you know. Twice a day. I come out in the morning. I didn't wash it off yet, but you can see even the stains are there, reminiscent from, it's been going on for so long. Yeah. Was, you see the stain? Well, that's this morning. I didn't wash it off yet. Okay. And um, don't I, step on it. I definitely seen the picture. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's a pretty, yeah. uh, Intense. Yeah, that's pretty intense to wake up to and see that all over your car. Every day. That's that's pretty crazy. Okay, we're one. Yeah. He was way on that branch, way up on the top. Yeah. But I see the poops. I don't know if they're hiding. You're, they're hard I to think spot. There's a smaller one. There's because a smaller one. one. I don't well, think and, well, if they're hiding in the tree, because you know iguanas know that they're good at camouflaging and they really are. So I would recommend. Uh, obviously, we're here now. We're gonna definitely look. Yeah. It's horrible. If you walk over by environment. Back, back there is like Jurassic Park. Here is where you guys live. But the but the iguanas, they'll like to come here to hang out because, you know, they can hang on the roof, the it's trees. It's a food source. Yeah, they can eat these flowers. Yeah, there's there's flowers like out here. Well, he's it's eating. There's somebody is eating these things, as you can see. The, oh, yeah. Eaten. Yep, these right here on the, our other customer's it's house. It's eaten. I don't know if I should remove them. Uh, you know, I, I would say not right now, but if things definitely get worse, I mean, you know, well, things get worse I mean you probably water them or take care of them you know until because removing them is a big step too you know they're still alive they just need some help so uh, yeah I mean if I think if we remove some of the little iguanas around here they might definitely give them a little bit of relief you know so and you want to come by in the evening to see yeah, if can, you yeah, see cause, them because this area is so big and this whole complex that we're not you know we're gonna have to be working here for a little bit you know what I'm yeah. saying it's gonna take us a couple days a couple weeks who knows but you know the good thing is, is we're local and this is not out of our way, and we can most definitely come out here and you know yeah. put some time. Live, in. I live right in Sunrise. Huh? I live right there in Sunrise. So you're close enough. Okay. Yeah, super, like ten minutes away. Yeah, so with with just like weekly patrolling and stuff like that, we'll definitely get down to the bottom of where they're at, and you know removing a bunch, of, you know, as many as we can, you know. Yeah. Well, since it's now after eleven, mm -hmm. this particular one, 
this was this morning because yesterday I washed off the carport. So between last mm -hmm. night and, and there's a pond there. over there. Yeah. So the other day I saw one crawling across here. I almost had a heart attack. Wait, You're getting a little stress and a little paranoia from iguanas living around your house. Yes. That I guess I am. Makes sense. I mean, they're they're destroying your car and like you never know when I guess one can just be sitting anywhere you know what I'm saying or whatever you know my bigger fear is because I see them and them getting and I do have an attic like her I just don't want to have that experience that that lady in this complex had. she had some in her attic making a nest they made a nest and there were like several iguanas in her attic and then it was her expense to remove them that is gross. Yeah, dang. That sounds like a that sounds like a pretty big uh big little headache right there, you know. And that's the tr this tree is so close to the roof, and that tree is so close to the roof. Feels you feel a little bit out of ease, a little bit it's out of comfort. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, because they're really close to you. That one's right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a hop, skip, and a drum to get in the roof. Then you got an iguanas on your roof, right? Yep. Then what's the next step? They're gonna try to go. They're in my house. Yep. Right here. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, well, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be here, so we're gonna definitely figure things out for you guys, all right? All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, so the iguanas, guys, you see this tree, how it's growing out towards the water? These trees are supposed to be growing straight up, but since the iguanas are occupying them and they're so heavy and there's so many of them, they go on the limbs and they bend, the weight of the, the, the iguanas bend the trees to put them permanently, permanently like this. And this results into, you know, uh, tree trimmings, tree removals, the death of the tree. It affects the overall ecosystem in the area, guys. Look at this. This is unnatural as heck. It's crazy. I've never seen a tree that even cut it before. You see where, how it's supposed to be growing up, right? But it's going that way. So this tree is probably loaded with iguanas up here. Yeah. It's fascinating what these, the damage, what these little dinosaurs can do. We have a tree that looks like it's 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 on the brink of not making it. You can see that there's no leaves on it, and it's it's dark colored, and it just looks like it's about to fall over. And unfortunately, guys, that tree was occupied by iguanas to the point where it's it's in critical shape right now. It's in critical shape. It's on. It's almost flatlined out of here. Incredible the damage. It's, it's unthinkable, guys. And it's, it's very expensive. Look at this right here. Careful for the spider. Silly Anoli. Ooh. He's feisty. It's a little alpha right there. Look at him. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there he goes. Oh no. Let's follow the Anoli. Looks like a little gecko, doesn't it? Oh yeah. A little gecko. Look at it. So this right here is a native, Florida, green and null. And he is charged up. I've never seen one like this before. So big and so and so alpha. Look at the alphaness. Look, look at him. Look at that little guy. Ah, I know, he's got a nice little grip for a, for a little lizard. Such a stunning specimen. Oh, he's got me. Oh, wow, whoa. Look, calm down. We know you're alpha. Oh, ninja spot something. We know he's alpha, right, DJ? Oh yeah. He doesn't have to keep proving his alphaness. But for whatever reason he wants to, so we'll let him keep biting on to us. He's too adorable. They all just came back in. There's a lot of baby things too. A lot of baby iguanas? Yeah. Could be a female green and mall. There's one right there. Baby iguana? Yep, just ran through. Word. Oh yeah, look, oh my gosh. Oh wow, yeah, I just seen like three or four hatchlings. There's so many of them right here. Oh wow, look at them, yeah, right by the pool. Yep, those just hatched. Whoa. Those literally just hatched. Already? I'd say like this. 
two week old? At most, yeah. A week old. A couple of days in. Those literally just hatched, y'all. Look how small they are. They're already learning how to sunbathe by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we got some iguana iguana. Ew. That's not chocolate, guys. Something big was in that bush. Oh, woo! The fat iguana. Oh, she was fat. Where's she at? She's, She's walking just... that way. Look at the baby. Look at the baby right by her foot. There's babies all over here, guys. Yeah, they literally just hat. Look, right there. Oh, there goes the female right there, yeah? Oh, there she goes. How you doing, sir? Iguana removal. Iguana removal. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. We're shooting them while we catch it with a pole. Yeah. Oh yeah, the babies, they just, they just had, what, right here? You said there's baby iguanas in there? They're in the pipes, huh? I don't know where they went. Okay. I was running them from my seat. You were running them away. Okay, cool. Ninja, we got some traps we can use out here that might be good. Yeah. Yeah, look at the pattern on this anole. Look at his back legs right there. You see that? Nice. He's got a wavy pattern right there. I don't know. I'm not quite sure if that's sign of alpha in this guy's or not, but this guy is pretty alpha. Look at him. Whoa. Wow. He's got quite a chomp. All right, buddy. We're going to go ahead and let him go. See if he wants to get off. He loves the iguana, man. You silly anole. You're not an iguana. I'm not here to catch you. You're a native. Go back. Look at this. Be good. He wants. There he is. Five, four, three, two, one. It's the Flintstones, episode seven. I mean, season seven, episode seventeen. Rocka, my baby. What's up, friends? It's your boy Raj, the Iguana Man, and we're back at you guys with another video. Yeah. As you guys know, South Florida is oh. being overran by invasive green iguanas. So, me and my friends, we have some new iguana removal jobs lined up to help remove these critters get them under control right there is our backyard I actually see an iguana right over there kind of hanging being alpha we're gonna see if we can get him but before we do that I would love to introduce you to our crew we got How you doing Lauren Lauren yeah Rambo what's going on Lauren and some of these jobs are right by the water so I just had to give you a call to, and, and you know you were available today we have the beast himself Rambo, Rambo the iguana hunting dog hey buddy Hello, I know. You ready to play today, bud? You ready to work? Yeah, he's super ready. He already kind of smells the iguana. Yo, our last removal actually did really well. Guess what? It, it's reached over 400,000 views on the channel. Yeah, so, hopefully uh, going for that one mil. Yeah, yeah. Ho hopefully. It's doing a lot of numbers, guys. It's bringing a lot of awareness and a lot of education to you guys. So like this video as well, make sure you like it. Give it the thumbs up as well. And of course, we have our Guana hunting partner from day one, our number one goon, the, the ninja. ninja. What it is, what it isn't, back I get again. Reloaded, ready to go. Got the gamo in hand. Got guns here, we got dogs. Let's go. Yes, sir. And, load, baby. and we have a whole day of iguana removal planned for you guys. So if you guys are ready, without any further ado, let's go ahead and start removing these iguanas. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button if you're new. You guys ready, team? Yeah. Let's get it. Woo! Rambo here. Here. He's right there. Rambo's on time. 
Here. Sit down. That big one's in that tree over there. Look, there's one right there. I see him. I think he went somewhere over there. Check this hole out right here, dude. Yep, found a little nest. Have to report that with the custody. That iguana got clocked, so he's probably going to surface up here soon. We'll be able to get a nice recovery on him. 10-4, stay tuned. All right, guys. Rambo, come here, buddy. Rambo, here. Rambo's looking to check out Rambo. He's super excited to go. I know, buddy. I know. Come here, bud. What are you There's some studs down there. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Sit down. Good shot. Nice hit. Thank you. All right, boy, come on. You can, you can call him. Call him over. Okay, go. Send him. <laughs> Silly Rambo. Oh, he's still up and moving. Job Rambo, where'd he go? Yeah, see how this water looks nice? A little bit. Looks a little better at least. Yeah, that was a big one. There he is right there. Hold on. Where is he? Right there. Let him go to the other side. Oh finish. I see him. There goes that silly again. Perfect. Right into our plan. Oh no worries, man. Look at that. Look, see the iguana swimming over there, guys? Oh, yeah. Very alligator-like. He just dove down. He's going for land. You hit him? Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Did you hit him, though? Not again. He's right there. We're better. Only one. Yeah. Then he got shot once. Then he shot Real him. Yeah, let him just, just, we'll just let him go on land. Then we'll be able to finish him. And then we'll deploy that iguana retrieval dog on him. The beast. The beast Rambo. Go, go, go. Boy. Good shot. Thank you. Thank Here. You. Good boy. I'm like holding over. Holding over. Come here. Good job, Rambo. Come here, buddy. Grab. Grab. Look at that silly hook on her little dog. He got us another Good boy. one. Good job. No, Rambo, Rambo. Grab it. Whoa. Here. Come on. Up, uh, let's go. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he wants to go back for a swim. Well, we're gonna Ouch. put him in swim here soon. This one, we got, we got this one over here. Yeah, I think it's dying right there. 
see. Alright, can you get Jump. him? Go get him, boy. That's a good boy. Come on, Rambo. Good boy. Yes! yes. <laughs> here. Come on, Rambo, here. Here, let's go. He dove for him, dude. Yeah. Stuck his nose muzzle in the water. Great job, Rambo. Come on. <laughs> up, let's go up. Up. Rambo. Grab. Oh, the iguana's grabbing onto him. Go here. Up. Come on. House. Good job, boy. I'm sorry. I got you. I got you. I got you. There you go. Leave. Leave it. Talk about a cool iguana retrieving dog. Rambo is definitely a beast right there, man. Good job, buddy. You're a good iguana hunting dog. All right, guys. We got to... Oh, man. Check, check this out. Just as we walked over here, you guys look over there. It seems like another... I was just going to say, is that another one right in front of the dead one? Yeah, it seems like there's... Yeah, yeah. that's what it's looking like right now. Yeah. So I think we should go back over there and... Uh, <laughs> We're working on this area right here because this is part of the this lake. We're not going to nobody's backyard. Or anything like that. We're controlling the iguanas out here because they're doing a lot of number on some of the trees. Yeah, no, there's there's some trees over there that are dead because the iguanas have ate all the leaves and you know put a lot of stress on the trees. So, dead. so we're just out here doing some removal. Okay, well I was sitting in my family room and I see you walking by with what looked like a rifle and I'm like, holy fuck, who the fuck are you? Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Well, we got our shirts on and everything. Yeah, yeah, well, I can't see them from in the house. I know you're not in law enforcement. I yeah. I can see the guns and the dog. Okay, sorry about that. But my name is Raj the Iguana Man. You'll see us out here weekly. And this is CJ. This is Lauren. That's Rambo. So we got our own little team out here. We do, we do iguana removal. Right, I'm I broke my fence because the, the big ones just go right through and back Oh, they broke your fence? Yeah. yeah, this is the house. When we first came, they were running in and out yeah. here. Yeah, as soon as we come out of my dog, yeah, they'll just go right back there. Yeah, okay. I had them in my pool. We'll uh, leave a card with you, okay? So if you see no, any in here... I'm not going to get it, Juana, man. <laughs> You're on my... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll give you a card anyway, so if you have my number. So if you see anything or if there's anything going on you need help with, let us know because we're, you know, we'll take, we'll come out here and take care of you, all right? All right, seems like this area is clear for now. We do got a couple floaters. We'll be back in a couple hours to grab them. But we are going home with four giant iguanas in the bag. Thanks, Rambo. Thanks, Lauren. In the bag. In the bag. <laughs> Look at that. That boy, Rambo. The iguana retrieving dog. Oh, no.